Hey, Arthur. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouthed bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. <sighs> okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's go, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse pack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Yeah, okay, boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I sure you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Has been treated. 
All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? I guess we'll see. Go! Oh. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's Cole. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. This place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Well, at least Sean made it back. And how he's enjoyed his hero's return. Yeah, he'll still be celebrating a month from now. So how bad was it? Blackwater, I mean. Yeah, pretty bad. Swarming with Pinkertons. No way we're getting back in there anytime soon. Well, let's just hope they don't find that money. Oof! <laughs> Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Uh, and you get a set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Grab your stuff. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Yeah, uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Tracks, dung, bone, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. 
Tracks. One of those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. Everything all right? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Looks a way off.
right here. Okay, let's take a look at it. Boy, the things I can make with this. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Sure, looks like you have everything. Bye. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. <gasps> yes. <gasps> yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yep. normally travel this far alone, you know. Yeah. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's... Oh, God! Hmm. I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. Yeah. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well.
I fought for Hello, you. Mister. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Joe. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Or my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen. Sad things. Remember with kindness. <sighs> well, you certainly stand out dressed like that. <laughs> Sorry about my friend. Your friend there. Uh, this is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Move that, will ya? Okay, girl. Black Bell, I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from him neither. 
and fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Them scalp hunters off your back. Not for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. <laughs> well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> 